I'm not gonna sit here and take it anymore. Readiness is the key. And you, the instruments of American policy, should know. All options are on the table. History will attest the soldier does not bear the sword in vain. And those who would challenge our resolve or our readiness should know. We will defeat any attack and meet any use of conventional or nuclear weapons with an overwhelming and effective American response. The threat of nuclear war is building as the clock inches closer to midnight. But it isn't simply due to the millennial from the darkest corner of hell, Kim Jong-un, who has declared that our super mighty preemptive strike will reduce America's military to ashes. Obama's Iran nuke deal is finally coming back to haunt us. Because America negotiated from a position of strength and principle, we have stopped the spread of nuclear weapons in this region. Because of this deal, the international community will be able to verify that the Islamic Republic of Iran will not develop a nuclear weapon. This deal meets every single one of the bottom lines that we established when we achieved a framework earlier this spring. Every pathway to a nuclear weapon is cut off and the inspection and transparency regime necessary to verify that objective will be put in place. The New York Post writes, we are getting chemical weapons out of Syria without initiating a strike, said Obama and Secretary of State John Kerry. We got 100% of the chemical weapons out. Just this past January, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice insisted we were able to get the Syrian government to voluntarily and verifiably give up its chemical weapons stockpile in a way that the use of force would never have accomplished. Just how wrong they all were has now become dead obvious. So why should anyone still believe the same team's assurances on Iran's ability to produce nukes? And still, if the Syrian chemical weapons narrative is to be believed, why go forward with the Iranian deal? Unchecked Iran has the potential to travel the same path as North Korea and take the world along with it. The United States is keen to avoid a second piece of evidence that strategic patience is a failed approach. A comprehensive Iran policy requires that we address all of the threats posed by Iran, and it is clear there are many. Back in July of 2016, there was hell to be paid as the Washington Free Beacon reported newly obtained documents show the Obama administration negotiated a secret side agreement with Iran that removes key restrictions on its nuclear procurement efforts after a decade paving the way for Tehran to build functional nuclear weapons within six months of the restrictions being lifted. The terms of this arrangement undermine the credibility of the nuclear deal and call into question claims by top administration officials who promised lawmakers that the deal would block the Islamic Republic's pathway to a bomb. And now Russia Today is reporting Russian experts will help the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran construct two nuclear power plants in the country's southern city of Bushehr, according to Iran's energy minister Hamid Chichian. The contract has been signed between the AEOI and Russia and includes building two 1,000 megawatt nuclear power plants, the construction of which is about to start, said Chichian. The minister added that the construction of a third joint power plant with Russia with the capacity of 1,400 megawatts has already begun. How many more traps has former President Barack Obama set for the American people? John Bound for Infowars.com. Let's go to Devin in Florida. Devin in Florida, you're on the air. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, I have bought your product, and I got to say they're amazing. Thank Anyone you. who's on the fence, buy it, because I've, I've got caveman, superman vitality, 
Secret 12, vitamin infusion. I've got the body armor. Wow, thank you. Wow. You're the top of the that makes it all possible. Which nutraceutical so, does you like best? I really like the, the vitamin mineral fusion, to be honest. That's it's amazing. Really incredible. I drank it in the morning, and I swear to you, I felt incredible. Like, I haven't felt in a week. My morning was fantastic, and I, and I love you guys. I love the InfoWars crew. And I just want to, yeah, I want to, I want to take this opportunity to tell anybody out there who's on the fence, just buy it. You will love it. I'm telling you, I've never bought a bad product. What you find in our news is the same thing you find in our products at InfoWarsLife.com. It's a win-win, InfoWarsLife.com.